Welcome back. Uh, it's been about a week and a half since I put out a video. The last time I checked in, we were just prepping the van to go away on a weekend camping trip. It's Tuesday night, a week, nearly a week and a half later, and we're trying to finish up a couple of things. Going to go on another camping trip again this weekend. We had an absolute blast on the last trip we took. It was really close to home at a state park just up the road but it was really it was a lot of fun and we got to trial run a lot of the things in the van we used the sink for washing dishes that worked out flawlessly i did not use the cooktop for the stove when we were percolating coffee in the morning just because it was a campground i had a picnic table if i can opt for that i'm going to cook outside which we did and we actually grilled beyond meat vegan burgers for dinner that saturday night out on an open fire in the week and a half that has gone by here we've done a couple of more things to the van and continue to work on it uh, so let me take you on a little tour and show you some of the things we've been working on and what's been going on okay come on so one of the things we did was you might remember you well you probably don't remember and maybe I'll, I'll put a picture up of it we had a big board going down the the side here from the front all the way to where the the headrest is there and it was just too big and and it stuck out too far so i pulled that board off and cut a a three inch by one inch board to match i'm i'm gonna put that in tonight the screws are still out i was just getting the rib nut screw holes lined up properly and what i'll do what i did with this one up here is i put liquid nails down on the on some of the parts of the metal then i screwed this down and this thing it's solid it's not going anywhere and i ran some of my wires back behind there just to keep them safe so i'll be doing the same thing with that tonight over the weekend we we did build a a, a pad for this bench here this is our side door cover there we did build a pad to fit on this bench and i'll put a picture of that uh, in the video here as well fits perfectly i did not i should have videoed making that and sewing the cover we did we diy'd that one on our own it's not the most professional job in the world but i think it came out really well and it's a really cool island type pattern i'll put a picture up in the video of that and and maybe we'll do a video later doing some other cushion sewing because that was that was a process thank you mom for teaching me how to sew who knew it was going to be for van life but it worked out well so one of the things we did before i get to the back here let me just kind of go over some of the doors in the last video i showed you this was I, I had a this is quarter inch maple plywood and then i trimmed it out with poplar i do still need to touch up some of this paint along the edges here we kind of put it on in a shaker style and it opens up over top of the cooking surface here what we put some really nice hinges on there and what i do to keep this close we have this industrial strength it's 10 pound velcro and i put a piece here and i put a piece on here when you shut this that's it it doesn't open up again you you know you kind of have to give it a yank and if i kind of lock it in place there's a good grab there this door isn't opening up i uh, built another door for the bottom the bottom door opens the other way simply because I didn't want to open it this way and have it up against this and I was afraid somebody would hit it and, and crack it so I kind of have this one opening up that way exposes our shelves down there down here in the slider door cabinet unit I did this was the original piece of wood that we cut out of this unit and I just put some barn type hinges on there my wife painted it a nice red color and I put this little catch on here that just opens it up and that's our trash can and then we'll right now i have a couple of small propane canisters back there but we have a a larger propane can that this hole will fit that can will go back and as i showed you in a previous video we'll run the hose up through that and i wasn't really happy with the look of this because there's this gap here and so forth but my wife kind of really likes it she thinks it has kind of a quirky camper look to it so that kind of worked out well for me um, but at the end of the day, you know, I think having some of these little flaws that maybe I'm not happy with, I think it's some of the stuff that makes the van and, and it really works out. Down in the center console, we had been wondering what to do with this area. And I'm still going to make a, a more formal 
drawer that pulls out and it'll be steps up to there, uh, up to the platform. But you know, what we did is I have this caster, I got this at Walmart and I, I hold it in here with a bungee cord so it doesn't go anywhere. And back behind there, we have storage so it's not going anywhere there. So I lift this bungee cord up and just kind of slide this out. And this thing has wheels on the back of it so I can lift that up, you know, just roll it out. This has all of our cooking stuff in it, more propane canisters, cutting board. There's my jet boil camp stove uh, for backpacking I have in there. So and we have a lot of our dishes and utensils in there. What this also does though is doubles as a step. So when I pull this out, you know, I can step on this and I'm fine. And I'm 193. Okay, I'm 195. And, and that holds me just fine. My wife obviously is a lot lighter than I am. It works as a nice step up to there. And that bungee helps keep that in there because the Saturday that we, that's that weekend we were camping, we went out for a drive that Saturday. We were not in any worry of an accident, but there was a point where I had to hit the brakes pretty good. And that whole thing came shooting out of there and slammed into the back of the seats here. The bungee was definitely uh, a necessity. Uh, so this weekend, what we did beyond the cushion for this bench here, what we did was, maybe you recall, I'll put a picture up of it. There was this hideous plywood that ran the length of these. And we've been trying to toil as to what to do with this. And this plywood had to be here because you'll see there's these pieces of support, pieces of plywood, this is half inch plywood behind here, connected to the back of the bench. And then this goes up, there's these blocks back in here then that connect that together to this plywood, which inset this in and takes advantage of these two indents. So this space, fits me perfectly when I lie down. What I did find though when I was sleeping is I had to remember, because I kept running out of room at the bottom here, what I had to remember is this is my exact height. So I kept having to make sure when I was sleeping, I had to hike my head up, not till I'm hitting anything, but just remember that I had to go all the way to the top and then I was fine. But what we did with this is we took a one inch memory foam pad that uh, my daughter had from college. And this was an old curtain that my wife cut to size and we just used a staple gun and tucked this back behind and stapled it around that plywood. We started on the top and then I held it up. She put the foam up in there and then we wrapped it in and wrapped it up around and then stapled in the bottom. So it's holding that foam in there nice and it makes a nice headrest when you're sitting on this. And then we took the tongue and groove cedar, the same stuff that we used on the ceiling and we put that on the side. I still have to take a little final trim piece on either side and lay it in to finish this piece out and then this will be done so this actually worked out really well we were really happy with the outcome for this backboard originally we had gone and found a piece of mdf a four by eight foot piece of mdf at lowe's that had a great pallet wood design on it and we were going to use that but i have found i am not a fan of the mdf it was pretty humid and hot here this week a lot of rain and while i didn't have that wood out in the rain i had it under the deck temporarily one afternoon when we were working on this last weekend and just from it leaning against the wall it completely bowed and when i picked it up it maintained that bowing shape and i thought if it's going to absorb humidity like this just sitting out here in a dry place underneath the deck what's it going to do in the van if we start getting condensation so i immediately pulled those two pieces out and we went back to the cedar tongue groove and i know in all my videos y'all keep seeing all these wires just hanging out here our 12 volt switches actually just came tonight and that's something i'm going to start plugging in we got little white 12 volt switches i got a 12 volt switch and dimmer that's going to go back here in the bed area we came up with a solution for the pillars in the back i saw somebody online they you know just took like some outdoor carpeting with a nice pattern and glue wrapped it to those so we're going to do something like that i believe to the pillars i'm just happy to finally start seeing sides go up so we can get rid of this foil we decided when we took this long board out of here i left this board short i'm going to build a galley shelving unit that's going to go from the counter up bolt into these two here bolt up here i'll have a shelf or maybe a cabinet up here but some kind of storage that will kind of come down on an angle and then meet here this is going to be our overhead cabinet we also cut a piece of plywood that's going to bolt in here here and go from the top of this up to the ceiling where we can put some metal strips on there 
My wife bought those magnetic spice cans that we can put on there and utilize that. I might put a little shelf on there. There's those options. So that's my update for this Tuesday. We've got the sidewall starting to go up. Cabinet doors are going on. We're gonna go, uh, we're trying to figure out what campground we wanna go to um, and or how far out in the state we wanna go. It's been some crazy weird, it's kind of cloudy outside right now. The last couple of days have been crazy weird weather. It's sunny for an hour and then it pours rain for 30 seconds. Then it's sunny for 20 seconds and then it pours rain for two hours. And it's just all over the map for the last several days here in the Northeast. So we're gonna go wherever this is not we're going to drive there and hang out for the weekend. I'm getting some things done, but I'm also readying the van so we can get out of here for the weekend and just escape somewhere. Because that is, again, the whole idea of this uh, this whole project. So that's all we have time for tonight. I need to get back to some work here and start getting the van ready for a, a camp trip this weekend, as I said. And uh, that's all I have. So peace, we'll see you down the road like the video subscribe to the channel if you like the content we're putting out consider sharing the video we'll see you next time